Today I want to talk about a quick hitch. I bought a quick hitch from one of the discount supply places, less than $100. I thought, well, surely I can make it work on most of my equipment. But that wasn't the case. Here's a quick hitch I bought. Uh, I won't mention any names, but I'm sure you fellas know which where I got it from. It's a Hallmaster. And I don't really have any problem with the way it's made, you know, the, the weight of it, the quality. It's it's heavy enough to do what I wanted to do, but the problem I ran into was like most of the problems that everyone's ran into on these. The top link hook won't work on most equipment. When I first unboxed the, this quick hitch, another problem it had was the latches. This handle here on the left side would not raise up enough. It was binding up kind of here at the bottom. It wouldn't, wouldn't pivot enough to unlatch it. So I had to grind that down on the very bottom right there. This side was okay. It's, it was like that when I unboxed it and it stays up. But this one, it had problems from the get-go, but I was able to grind on it and get the latches to work okay. Well, one more issue that it has, and it's not a, that big of a deal, but these rubber handles, they pull off. So I guess I need to put some kind of glue or something to hold them on. Sometimes when you are going to latch it, you'll pull up on it and the handle will come off. And that's, but that's not a big deal. That, you know, little glue or silicone or something would take care of that problem. The hook here that hooks in the, the top of your equipment it is adjustable. You can see there's numerous holes here that you can move it up or down. And even when you did that, I didn't have much luck getting it to work on anything. As you can probably tell, I've already done some work on the hook part of it. You can see where I've cut it off and cut it down. And I wrestled with this thing probably a day and a half trying to make it work on the bush hog and the greater blade, mold machine. I would get it to work somewhat on the greater blade. Then it wouldn't hook up to the mold machine. And I really never got it to hook up to the mold machine at all because this hook, this hook is, is too wide from here to here. There's not enough space to hook it up to the mold machine. So I give up on that. I thought, well, we can get it to work on the bush hog, greater blade, and then I have a ballast box, which is right here. We can get it to work on those three. That's pretty good. No luck there either. Uh, when I modified the hook, by, by, I cut it off and then cut it down too where it wasn't as thick. I still couldn't get it to work right on the bush hog. And here's the reason why. My bush hog has what's called a floating top link. And this part floats. So when you hit a bump on the ground, it doesn't raise the rear of the bush hog up. It allows it to float on the rear wheel does do a better job of cutting like that, but because of this, to get the quick hitch to go in here and hook and raise it, but it wouldn't raise it far enough because of the floating top link. So, I give up on that too. I ended up making it work on the ballast box. Now let me show you that. The hook's the main problem up here, but the lower hooks that hook into the 
lift pins. They're way too big. If you don't put a larger adapters on your lift pins on your piece of equipment. Number one, it wobbles around a lot. And number two, as you can see, there's a lot of space between the top of the latch and the bottom of the hook. So a standard pin that's in a like a bush hog or greater blade, whatever, way too small for that hook. To solve that problem, I bought these adapters and they solve the problem. They they fill up that gap when you latch it down, they hook well, they're they're tight, and they just they just drive on right here with a pin. A roll pin that drives down through there and that holds them on. After I solved that problem, the only way that that hook, only way that hook will hook into here is to use a smaller pin. As you can see, I've got a pin that's smaller than the hole, but that leaves just enough room for that hook in the quick hitch to go in there. And you can see where I cut it. The only way it would work then was if when I cut that back to make more area here and less area here. It was quite an adventure. So bottom line is when it's all said and done, I can use a quick hitch on the ballast box. And that's pretty much it. I have a John Deere grater blade over here and I can get it to hook by adjusting the hook on the quick hitch but it's still not it's loose and just doesn't work very well on a grater blade and the problem on the mold machine there's not enough space between here and here for the hook to go in there I tried a smaller pin here I tried a small bolt can't use it on that can't use it on a greater blade and can't use it on the bush hog <laughs> but I can use it on the ballast box and you know that that helps out because it weighs 600 pounds or so and rather than have to try to scoot it around and move it to hook it up to the tractor you can just put the quick hitch on the tractor back up and it it works fine that way. If you want to hook up on a lot of different pieces of equipment, I don't think that's going to happen unless you do a lot of modifying to either the quick hitch or your equipment. The best thing I could say about the quick hitch was the price. Uh, I think it sold for $99 and then I had a coupon. Ended up costing me about $80 including tax. And I, I guess it's worth that to use on the ballast box because it does make it easier to hook it up. So I'm going to hook it on the tractor and, and pick up the ballast box and show you that it does work well for that. That's all I've got for you on the quick hitch. It works with what I do with it, but it is kind of disappointing that it will only work on the ballast box. So, talk to you later. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, and we'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel. Thanks.